But how, brother, brother Muhammad, how can we apply this? Um, say a viewer is experiencing stress or worry or myself. Is it correct to say, okay, I'm going to sit down now for 15 minutes and say la ilaha illallah or make, I'll say la ilaha illallah 150 times. I mean, how do I implement this into my life? Okay, the first thing is we should be very careful with all of the forms of adhkar and dhikr that we don't give it a false number that was not given in the sunnah. Okay. So that's very, very important number because this one. would take us into an innovation that it, it would remove all of the benefit from the deeds that we do. Okay. So don't give... You know, people say to you, or oh, say this 15 times, say this yeah. 20 times, say this. If it doesn't have a proof for the number in the sunnah, don't do it. Or the time, if you say 15 minutes today. So we say that, no, you know, just yeah, you, okay. you say you say a dua until it brings you relief or as much as you want to say it. And there are two right, ways that I think right. you can use la ilaha illallah. One is to use it as a means of tawassul. So for example, to say, oh Allah, I ask you by the fact that there is no God worthy of worship but Allah. And I, you may have noticed this in the Witr prayer. I don't know about here in Egypt, but it, definitely in the UK, some of the Imams in the Witr prayer, every now and again, they will say, La ilaha illa ant. Just yeah. in between their dua. The purpose of right, this, right. The purpose of this is to come near to Allah and to seek a means of nearness to Allah by affirming our belief that there's no God right. worthy of worship but Allah. The second thing is to simply say la ilaha illallah at a time when you're feeling that, you know, Close. that pressure, the that pressure. stress, and you just say la ilaha illallah. Right. Remembering that it is Allah that can answer you, that it is Allah that can bring you relief, that only Allah is the one that you worship and only Allah is the one you seek help from. Remembering all of that and saying la ilaha illallah to bring that as a dua, dua al ibadah. You're making dua to Allah without asking right. Allah for something specifically okay but knowing in your mind that what you're what you're hoping from allah right. is that